So in the last lecture, I, I showed a phase diagram and I wanna be a little clearer about that phase diagram. Uh, what I drew at the time was something along, along these lines. And uh, I drew this to highlight the congruent point. And this is not as clear as I think it needs to be. Uh, there's a lot of elements in this that I think is a little bit counterintuitive. So I, I wanna highlight it in, in, in this uh, discussion. So what does this type of phase diagram look like? It has to look like if this is uh, temperature versus XB, it has to have this shape. Sorry. Has to have this shape. So this would be liquid alpha alpha prime plus liquid, alpha double prime plus liquid. And what this means for the free energy is if we had a particular temperature here, we'd have a free energy curve that looks like that and another one that looks like this of sorts. So this would be alpha and this would be liquid, meaning that you'd have some common tangent line here and a second common tangent line here, so you divide this into regions, liquid, alpha, alpha prime plus liquid, alpha double prime plus liquid, alpha double prime, sorry, liquid, ah. Liquid. So, What's happening here and worth pointing out is that we have uh, only two Gibbs free energy curves, alpha, and then alpha crosses the liquidus, or sorry, crosses the liquid free energy curve at two points. And as a result, the chemical potentials are not equal. Uh, the congruent point is happening up here. And that congruent point uh, has uh, zero degrees of freedom. And that's because alpha prime, alpha double prime, and liquid are all present. It so happens that at this point, alpha prime and alpha double prime are the same. Uh, but, and equal to alpha. But this position itself, you have no degrees of freedom. So this, this is in part what I find really interesting about it is that it's a point with zero degrees of freedom. Uh, even though we have two components and a temperature that can be varied. The other thing that is interesting is, is that uh, alpha prime, alpha and alpha double prime have different, different chemical potentials. And at first I thought, well, that, that doesn't really seem to make any sense, but it, it does make sense if you consider Let's say we pick a composition, say here. And as we cool down, let me, uh, if that's our system composition, 
as we cool down from the liquid into the alpha prime plus liquid, the composition of our alpha prime is located there. And as we continue to cool, using the lever rule, the composition of alpha prime continues to head to the left. And once we cross from the alpha prime plus liquid into the liquid regime, now we have 100% alpha, but alpha and alpha prime have the same composition and will have the same chemical potential. And we know it's gonna have the same chemical potential because instead of varying the temperature, we could say, well, what happens if we vary the composition? And we know that over in this uh, liquid region, the chemical potential is defined by the slope. You reach the common tangent line, and as you move across the common tangent line, well, it's now fixed constant. And as you cross from the alpha prime to the liquid, it stays constant right at that line, but then continuing into the alpha now, the common, the the the, the uh, tangent, and therefore the intercept changes until we reach the alpha double prime. So this particular phase diagram uh, is actually kind of, at least for me, it's kind of counterintuitive, uh, but it is a valid phase diagram and you can see the connection here. <laughs>